How's it going, Adam? <laughs> hey, I'm hey. on that one. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> I just happened to be here on the couch and I see you. This is great. <laughs> I was uh, I was in the mood for some coffee and, you know, now that I'm looking at it, I don't have any coffee. I need coffee. <laughs> this is how bad today's going. But well, so what are we all doing here? I got, I got something else to boost your energy. All right. We got a new service launch and it's super exciting. Okay. It's people love containers. Obviously the show is, is doing great. Everyone loves learning from us. I love containers. I know they're, they're awesome. <laughs> it's just a great packaging format for anything you want. And we at Amazon have a new service to run them in the, just fully managed. Just give me a container. You can run it. And it's amazing. You know, this is something that I've heard from customers throughout the years is, okay, you, it's great. You have ECS. That, that helps me orchestrate a whole bunch of containers that all need to talk to each other. And then, of course, we came along and we created EKS because, you know, customers want the open source Kubernetes experience in a managed form. But I, I still often hear from customers, I just want to run my container, you know, just just let me just give you my container and you run it and I don't want to have to think about anything else. So are you telling me we can do that now? We can. Let me show you. All right. Wow. We'll show you. Well, let, let's deploy simple container here. Web service on this just takes a few minutes. All right. Show me. All right. Educate so me. Here's App Runner. App Runner is the new service. It is I like that. give us a container or give us a source code repo, right? Some people already have the containers. We're going to build it for them. Some people just say, you know what? Here's my repo of code. Please just build it for me and, and then post it. And oh, that's nice. You don't even have to know how to build a container. Yeah. And we'll walk through we'll walk through the, the pre-built container. Uh, the blog post here for the launch blog will also show you how to hook up a GitHub repo and, and deploy from GitHub repo to URL. Nice. Fully managed. Awesome. So, I can't wait. Right here, create a service, just like anything else. We're going to say we, we have a container registry and we're going to use ECR public. We already have a demo like app for you hosted here on ECR public. Uh, if you go into the gallery, it's under AWS containers and we call it Hello App Runner. Okay. Nice. Gives you some more usage, some more details about it. Uh, but we don't need, we don't need to worry about it right now. We're just going to click the URL here for it and paste it right in. I'm with you so far. Yep. This is just, if I if I've lost you so far, <laughs> we can go slower. But I just want to let's let's show you how easy this is. Okay. So this is literally give me my container and run it. Container and, image. We'll call it yep. uh, containers from the couch. Containers from the couch. Right. Let's just give it a service name. Okay. And then we just need to say what port. What port does my application expose? Where where is it actually publishing some service on? And, and I, as a developer, should know that already. Yeah, I would. I would hope so. so. Yeah. Uh, you're probably yeah. running it locally in dev or something, but yeah, there, you need to have some way to expose this because App Runner is all about running those web services for you. Just you bring us minimal knowledge as possible. So that's all we need. We okay. have a container image, a name, and a port. Okay. We can nice. we can change our CPU memory if we want. We can change auto scaling. We'll talk about that in just a second. Okay. Health checks, security, all that stuff. We're gonna click next here. Just a review on on what we set up, and let's just say create and deploy. Okay, and it's cool. going. This is it, nice. It's going to go. So, all of that. Like, I don't want to say the S word. Starts with S, ends with less, but it's you know wholly managed services. <laughs> it, now, th this is this is the, the full pipeline. I was like, what word is he talking about? <laughs> well, at first you thought the naughty word. <laughs> There are no servers for you to need to manage, but there's also no load balancers. This is load balancerless. There's no oh. clusters. This is clusterless. There's That's right. No yeah, you didn't specify any kind of cluster. Uh, you didn't even specify like uh, you know. I guess you did. It did ask you, you know, CPU and memory, but you didn't have to pick like instance type or or anything like that. Interesting. Nope. Interesting. I don't need. I, I didn't need to pick. I get DNS. Off the bat, like right out of the gate, I get a unique endpoint for my service. Uh, this is also going to have TLS for me, manage TLS. Oh, wow. Okay. That's cool. And I didn't even pick, I didn't pick a VPC. Like there was nothing in there that I needed to do. This is App Runner. Right now is all public services uh, that we would love. We have a roadmap on GitHub. You can see it in the blog post that 
we love to allow some private access on VPCs, but right now for the simple stuff, just deploy it. You get a public endpoint, publish your, your container, you're ready to go. Nice. All right. So uh, obviously it's going to take a couple minutes for this to come up, but you mentioned a blog post. Do you happen to have that handy? Uh, it's going to be on the AWS containers blog. Okay. And, and it's going to walk you through basically deploying this, but also it's going to show you that we did this application. Not only is it published on ECR public, but we have the source code available as well on GitHub. So awesome. you can head over to GitHub and it gives you a couple other options. If you want to see the full managed build pipeline, Check it on GitHub. You can fork it here on GitHub and connect this into App Runner. You can say, instead of saying, I have a prebuilt container, say, I got a source code repo, connect it with this repo, and you can walk through the same steps. And you can say, the blog post outlines it for sure, uh, but you can also say, like, I have a managed config file. You just give it a name at that point. You say, well, here's my source code repo. This is what I want to name it. And you're off. So wow. you, you mentioned build pipelines. So what happens when I... I, you know, I, I've done it the first time we have our code, it's built our image, it's deployed it, this is amazing, but now I wanna build like a repeatable process. Can I do something like that with AppRunner? Absolutely, yeah, you can have a trigger on, if you have a source code repo, you can have it triggered automatically whenever you push to a branch you define, or you can have it manual if you wanna actually push changes in GitHub or, or in your repo and then go back and say, okay, now I wanna deploy the thing. Uh, so you can separate those if you want, but by, you know, you can also just say automatically. Uh, the only thing you really need in your repo is actually this app runner YAML file, which is gonna give you a managed runtime. I can make that a little bit bigger for you. Uh, managed runtime, your build commands, and then what command to run the app and a port. Just like kind of information we had, you don't need a Docker file to build it. It's just, Wait, this is fully really? managed. No yeah, Docker no, file? No Docker file. Holy cow, that's awesome. And, so, and again, all of this, wow. this build pipeline, is builds per minute of usage. So as you're building it, you're not charged for your build pipeline existing if you're not currently building things. So I don't have to have my Jenkins servers lying around. <laughs> Adam, Adam, we know you love servers. Jenkins. You can keep them if it makes you feel good. <laughs> keep the Jenkins servers if you like them, but you don't need but them. But I don't need them and I don't need to pay for them because App Runner is just going to do what it needs to do and I only pay for the time that it runs to build and deploy. Yep. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, one other thing to point out here is the uh, app runner is container-based and then actually each container instance shares requests. So it's not a per request sort of like invoke my container. We do have, you get one running by defaults that goes into kind of like a lower state, but you're only paying for like execution time and memory usage uh, while it's while it's there. But this allows you to do some things that are kind of neat with containers, such as there's some shared scratch space. So this application actually publishes, it, it generates one of these avatar images for you, uh, which you can share it on Twitter or in Slack or something, and it'll automatically populates. And, and the avatars are unique for each application, and it saves it to disk. We got a little bit of scratch space, and each request just keeps reusing that same scratch space. So I'm not regenerating that each time. I don't need to put it in S3 and store it and fetch it. It's just something that, hey, I had a little scratch space, I can put it there. And this application also publishes a Prometheus metrics at a metrics endpoint because you can keep that in memory cache of long running history about the application. If you want to scrape it, you can. You don't have to. CloudWatch is built into App Runner. It gives you oh, automatic nice. metrics, it gives you automatic logging. I did this as like an example to say, okay, if you want to do something with an in memory cache for whatever reasons, uh, some, something long running, you can have that. Wow. Very cool. Can you uh, actually, can you show us some of that CloudWatch stuff that you were mentioning? Sorry, Brent, I had interrupted. Yeah, no, it's all good. Or will we see that when we get deployed? Look, it's yeah. running. Our, our app is running already. Uh, but yeah, you get your logs down here, which will show you the actual like, hey, this is the deployment log or the, um, the event logs for like, as things are rolling out. Your deployment logs, like, if you're doing a source code. That took five code. minutes. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you can oh, get wow. up and running any public container and ECR public. Uh, we would like to support some other registries in the future, but for right now, ECR private, ECR public, support oh, out of the box. Okay, private as well, cool. Yep. Nice. And application log, so I can see health checks, I can see requests on the application. I can view it in CloudWatch or view it right here embedded in the uh, console itself. So deployment logs, application logs. I can, I, that's visibility into two pretty important areas. That's awesome. Yep. And so that's that's pretty much it. So once we, and you can also get custom domains. You can oh, bring your own cool. domains here, everything. Oh, but this is the example app. 
Uh, we'd love for you to try it out uh, in the blog post, walk you through it. And, and then inside here, inside the app itself, uh, you can share it to see your, your unique uh, banner image. Uh, there's also a link, we have a workshop, goes into some more advanced things you can do, uh, such as talking to a database and some more things on just showing how like rolling upgrades, uh, those things work. That's awesome. Yeah. And then in the docs. And that's it. That's that's as simple as it is. You can run a container. You're paying per you know execution as you're using it per request or per instance. Uh, so you can scale those up as well. They can you can scale this up. Start with one, scale up to 20, 30, whatever you need. It'll auto scale based on those requests. And you're paying for usage of those requests and builds. Wow. Okay. So it auto scales just out of the box. Yeah, by default, there's a uh, per request on each instance. I think it was 80 requests. Uh, once you get the 81st request, it'll spin up another instance for you and start sending requests there. And those are concurrent requests. So you can have them sequentially just coming uh, and you won't scale up. If your app can handle 100 requests, you can change some of that as well. That's all oh, in this. Okay. So auto scaling right here. I have a oh, 100 concurrency. My minimum's one, maximum 25 is. is wow what I had set by default. Get some automatic health checks here, all out of the box. That's awesome. I can't wait to start messing with this. Um, yeah. So you mentioned a uh, roadmap. Um, what's coming next? All sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs> right now for, uh, for the build pipelines, we're supporting Node.js and Python. Uh, for the container registry, it's all ECR, public and private. We would like to do uh, Docker Hub. We want to get some more languages in there. Uh, probably even if you want to bring your own Docker file, uh, build pipeline. So definitely check out in the blog post, we have a link to the uh, projects. So it's public on GitHub. Plus one, some features there. If you you know find something that you really want to do, if you something that you really want to get enabled with to use the service, go check it out. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna go mess with it. So I me really, too. thanks for showing this to me. This is fantastic. Yeah. Sounds good. And anyone that deploys it, definitely hit that tweet button. We wanna see your custom avatars and how you're liking the service. Yeah. Yes, definitely. All right, all right. well, all right, take it easy. Good luck, thanks, bye.